Okay, permutations. Given an array nums of distinct integers, return all the possible permutations, and you can return the answer in any order. Okay, that makes sense. So if the numbers are 1, 2, 3, you could do 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 2, 2, 1, 3, and so on. Okay, so there's actually a built-in for this. You can just do from iter tools import permutations, and then you can just return the permutations on that numbers array. We'll go ahead and submit that. Wow, good job, me. That was great. Dang, Greg, you're looking fly today. Let's go. Okay, what do we got here? And oh, <laughs> what? I mean, pretty funny, but that's not going to pass the interview. We'll actually write this ourselves. So we'll get n is the length of the numbers, and we'll get two dynamic arrays, answer and solve. Answer is what we return, and solve is a partial solution. Now, our backtrack function will be recursive. Our base case is if our length of solution is n, we hit a solution. So we will answer.append a solution copy, and from here we just return. Now, here's the trick. For each x in the numbers, if that number is not in our solution, then we will append that number, recursively call our backtrack function, and when we return, we need to pop that same number off. Outside, we can simply just call our backtrack function once, that'll populate answer, and we can return that. Looking good and coding good.